Good morning. Good morning. How are you all? How was the Saturday and Sunday? Did you enjoy your weekend? That's great. Sounds so good. What is today then? Yesterday was Sunday and the day before yesterday was Saturday. And what is today? Today is Monday. A fresh day. Monday. Monday spelling? M-O-N-D-A-Y. Monday. And what is today's date? 6 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 2020. What is today's date? 6. 7th month means July. Year means 2020. And how is the weather outside today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? How is the weather today? It's rainy. And let's learn some days of the week. How many days are there in a week? There are 7 days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Saturday is a holiday. Once again, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Come on, let us learn some colors today. Okay. Come on. Let's learn some colors today. I'll show you some colored objects. You should tell me. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. What color dress are you wearing today? What color dress are you wearing today? My color dress is yellow color. There's a yellow color here. What is this color? This is yellow color. And the next is red color. What is this color? Red color. And, and, and pink color. What is this color? This is pink color. Here we go with the blue color. The sky is blue. Blue color. This is purple. And this is green. Leaves are green. Trees are green. Green color. Once again, green color. Purple color. Blue color. Pink color. Red color. And yellow color. That's good. Let's see how I kept colors like this. Yellow color, red color, pink color, blue color, purple color and green color. Let us learn some alphabets. Okay, till now we finished up to J. Do you remember J for jacket? Yes? Nursery children? Now today we are going to learn from K. What is this letter? K. K for Kangaroo, K for kite, K for kid, sweet little kid. Who is this? K for kid. L, capital L, L for lion, L for lemon, L for lollipop. M, M for mango, M for milk, M for mask. Milk is always good for health. You should drink milk morning and evening also. Okay. Next N. N for nurse. Who is nurse? Can you tell me who is nurse? Who treat us? Who give us injections also? Okay. N for nine. N for what is this? Notebook. Oh, next. N after which letter comes? M L M N. N O O for O looks like a circle O for orange O for octopus O for oven O for orange See here yeah? orange octopus oven P capital P P for parrot P for pigeon P for your favorite 
get P for pizza. You like pizza? Domino's pizza? Okay. Q. Capital Q. Q for queen. Q for quilt. Q for quill. R. R for rabbit. R for ring. R for rose flower. S. S for sun. S for soap. S for strawberry. T. T for tiger. Tiger is our national animal. T for tomato. T for teapot. I'm a little teapot shark danced out. This is my handle and this is my spout. When the water boiling, hear me shout. Lift me up and pour me out. That is called teapot. Now what is this? Capital U, U for umbrella. It's raining outside so you should carry umbrella. Umbrella, umpire. Umpire means when you watch cricket you can see this man. What we call umpire. And this is uncle. V, V for van. V for vegetables. V for violin. Violin means, violin means it's a musical instrument. Okay, that's good. Rest of the things we'll learn tomorrow. From A to V, you have to learn. You have to see the letters, you have to see the pictures also. Okay, now let us learn some strokes. Here we go with the strokes. What is this? Standing line, sleeping line, right slanting line, left slanting line. This is right circle, this is left circle, this is upward circle, this is left curve, uh, this is downward curve, this is left hook and this is circle. Okay, again standing line, sleeping line, right, sta right slant line, left slant line, right curve, left curve. Curve, down curve, this is left hook, this is circle. See how many strokes are there? Do you remember all this? You have to practice all this one. Next one, let us learn some shapes. Here we go with the shapes. What are these? These are shapes. See, this is a circle shape. What are the objects we can see in the circle shape? Let us see. S circle shape means it, uh, it looks like a clock. Next one it's a pizza and a plate. These all look like a circle shape. Okay. Next one, square. Did you ever see the chessboard? It also looks like a square. This is dice. When you play snakes and ladder or else ludo. This is a die. You have to play with this die. This is carom board. This is also square shape. Next one. Rectangle. Rectangle. Your mom's dad's mobile looks like in a rectangle. Your door. Your entrance door looks like a rectangle. And your notebook. This is rectangle. This is triangle. What is this? A tent looks like a triangle. A clown, triangle shape, a hanger. You have hangers at your house? That looks like a triangle. These are shapes. Circle, square, rectangle and triangle. Okay. Next let us see some comparisons. Which is big and small, which is tall and short, which is fat and thin. Here we go. What are they? These are comparisons. Comparisons means what? You have to make a difference between two different kind of objects. Let us see. How is this cake? Is it looking like... How it is? Is it big or small? This is big. This is a big cake and this is a small cake. Or oh, there is a small bottle aquarium. You can see two fishes are there in this one. Which one is the big one? Here we go. This is the big one and this is the small one. Tall and short. Tall and short. What is this? This is
is a tall tree and this is a short tree. Tall man, short man, fat and thin. Here we go. Fat means watermelon. Watermelon, little fat. And the thin, thin uh, watermelons also we can see. See, this is a fat and this is thin. There is a cow here. This is a fat. And there is a horse. Horse looks like little thin if you compare with the cow. Okay, what are this? Big and small, tall and short, fat and thin. You practice well, you can take out your vegetables or else you can take out some objects from your kitchen room like you know, a big spoon and a small spoon, a big fork and a small fork, right? And uh, you can take out your tomatoes or a potatoes, onions, just see, take out all those objects and compare. Which one is the big one, which is the small one, which is tall one, which is short one, which is fat one, which is thin one. Okay, you practice, you will get it definitely. And let us learn about some my family. Who is there in your family? Who is there in your family? My family, I have a mother, father and my sisters. Okay, my sister and my brother. Like that. Who are there in your family? Can you tell me? This is my family. What is this? My family. Mother, father, brother and a sister. This is a small family. Okay. Who are there in the family? Mother, father, brother and sister. You tell me who are there in your family tomorrow. Okay. Uh, do you, are you eating any, are you eating any vegetable, uh, fruits? Yes, you should eat vegetables and even also fruits. It is good for health. Let us learn some fruits today. Okay. What are these? These are fruits. Can you see the fruits here? Apple, orange, mango, banana, grapes and goa. Come on, tell me once again. Apple, orange, mango, Banana, grapes and goa. Did you see all these fruits here? Lovely, lovely, yummy, yummy fruits. Okay children, tell me what I have told you. You have to practice. Right? You should practice all these things. Just don't watch the TV all the time. Just don't watch the mobile all the time. You should learn few things from your books. You should learn some things. What are there around you also? Okay? See you tomorrow.